I just don't know. Is it time for more fish? You're right, it's time. So we're on our way to Fisher Hex's house to get some fish and bring them back. But before we do that, we're going to be checking out the 300, see how Ocean's making out, and seeing that tank fully up and running, because it's been a while since I've been there. Uh, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you're alerted to new videos as they come out. So, that being said, let's check out Travis's 300 and get the fish and bring them home. Well, we have arrived in Pennsylvania, which is the home of Fish FX. So let's take a look at the 300. It's been a while since I've been here. Um, the last time I was here is when we helped him get the tank into the, his uh, fish room. And let me tell you, it has changed quite a bit. Uh, it's one thing to see it on video, but it's another thing to actually see it in person. The, the sump is ridiculous. It's a piece of art, in my opinion. Uh, and the tank itself with the low lead glass is just crystal clear. And of course, it was really good to see Ocean in the tank. Uh, the minute I walked in, he started swimming back and forth. And as I got closer to the tank, he was like, hey, wait a minute, I remember you. And started swimming closer around and doing circles around me. But he has a big tank to swim in. You can see it from here. Uh, again, video does not give this tank justice. But at eight feet long, this tank is massive and it's gorgeous. And he has plenty of room to swim back and forth. Uh, another thing I wanted to take a look at while I was there is all the corals that Travis has put in the tank so far. And there is quite a few. They are growing rapidly and they just look gorgeous. He's hand-picking the corals that he's putting in the tank to make sure it's his um, top favorites and there'll be nothing but show pieces in the tank. Of course, the fish hex millie is, is a center point and the amount of polyp extension he has on these corals it's ridiculous and you have to see it uh, for yourself to believe it now one of the things I really wanted to get a closer look at was this long tentacle plate coral it's in pretty much every one of Travis's videos that he shows of the tank and it is gorgeous also Zeze this is one of the fish that I used to kind of get the fish that I wanted in my list together. So let's get to them right now. First off the bat are Antheus. I've always wanted Antheus in my tank because of the way they school and their colors. They are gorgeous fish to have in a tank. It's recommended to get three or more Antheus because they have a male and they'll have the females in the group. If the male should perish, then like clownfish in reverse, one of the females will become the male and will lead the harem at that point. Also do well on a varied diet of frozen mysis and rich brine shrimp uh, and over time can accept and will eat flake food. Their care level is easy and their temperament's peaceful. They come in a wide variety of colors depending on which ones you get. They are reef compatible. Their max size is about three and a half inches and the minimum tank size that's recommended is 70 gallons. The ones I picked up are called Ignitus Antheus from the Maldives. They're also known as Flame Antheus. And the, the funny thing about them is that when they're courting, the coloration of the male Ignitus will uh, intensify greatly and the bright red of his dorsal fin is held up high in an upright fashion. Now, I had to get a tang, so my choice this time was the sailfin tang. As far as their diet is concerned, uh, tangs will eat meaty foods with the other fish in the aquarium, but it's important that they are offered plenty of marine-based seaweed and algae. This will strengthen their immune system and reduce the aggression and improve overall health. Now, as far as the having a tang in my tank, again, this is a smaller tang and will grow with my system because I do intend to get a larger tank that will accommodate this fish. As far as the, the tank's temperament, they're semi-aggressive. The colors of this fish are blue, tan, and yellow. Their diet is an herbivore, but they do accept meaty foods. Their max size is one to three inches. Uh, the tank size max is about 180 gallons. 
and they are reef safe fish. Now again, I had to have a tang in my tank because I have algae issues that I'm going through and I need algae eaters, but again, I'm going to be getting a larger tank for, to accommodate this fish. Now, here they are back in my tank. The Antheus uh, were the first ones basically to come out from behind the rocks after a couple of days in the tank. They are the showboats of the system. They cruise the tank, they readily accept flake at this point in time, but they love the meaty food. And here is the sailfin. Now the sailfin, what it does is, isn't eating anything I offer it, but it's having a field day on the algae in my tank and is getting fat and healthy. Now I know what you're saying, you're saying why aren't they in quarantine? Well, Travis had quarantined these fish prior to me picking them up, and I also had an issue with the quarantine system that I'll get into in another video. Well, that's it for now. So. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them down below. And as always, this is Scott. I will see you all soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.